Hey, hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. We are going to go ahead and get started on my declutter today. We're going to start on this side of the room and then work our way this way. I'm pretty sure this is where my makeup collection ends now um, that we have this new storage unit here. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the areas that you see that are out like this little organizer right here so if you guys are interested to see what stays in my collection and what's gotta go then just stick around and keep on watching okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started with sorry i'm my my uh tripod I'm sorry it's this a squeakies so we're gonna go ahead and get started with setting sprays here and first thing I know that I am gonna get rid of is gonna be these two I do not like these do not like them whatsoever so this one was actually mine and I think I got mine either in a boxy charm or when I tried to do the what is it fab fit fun I think box I don't remember but I'll leave it on the screen for you guys to see um, I got either in one of those two and then my friend Melissa actually didn't like the spray either so she gave me this one but the mister on this just it doesn't work um, like I don't know if it'll show for you guys but it's like really chunky yeah see I, I don't like it oh now you want to work no see it's really chunky if you guys can see you see those big old chunks on my hand, those water chunks, imagine that on your face all over your makeup, no. So I did try switching it um, into a different bottle and it did the exact same thing. I think I used it, I think I poured what was in here into an Urban Decay one when I finished it, which is, you know, this one, the D-Slick kind, because I, I purchased this quite a bit. And it still, sorry, still did the same thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. The next thing that I know I'm going to get rid of is this setting spray from Catrice. I actually don't like this at all. Um, I got it because Juicy Jazz always raved about it and she said that it was really good, but I didn't like it. It's really um, oily and like sticky. Like I don't like the, the residue. The spray is good. Or maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I don't know. I just, I didn't like it. It's really moisturizing, so if you're like someone who's a little bit more on the drier side, you may like this. And it's funny because I actually do like dewiness on my face, but I, this made me oily. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I did try to keep it and use it. As you can see, it's like all the way at the bottom, but I just can't. So I'm going to get rid of it. Let's see. And the Smashbox I like. I like this one, the Ciate London. We'll keep that. This is new to my collection, so I'm keeping this. This was actually my favorite setting spray, but it got discontinued. Um, so we're going to use that one up until she's done, and then she's gone forever, unfortunately. This one I also got in a boxy charm, and I don't like it either. <laughs> um, you can tell I did try to use it. You have to shake it up every time because it separates. Um, I tried to use it as an extra moisturizer onto my skin, but I just don't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this too. And then I did say this was like one of my favorite ones. We're going to keep that. I really enjoyed this one too. That's the reason why I bought this Smashbox one because I was like, ooh, this is good. Maybe that one would be good too. And then I like this MAC one for actually making my face a little extra dewy. So we're going to keep that. We went from 11 setting sprays to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to 7 setting sprays. So that's actually pretty good. Oh wait, no, I'm lying. <laughs> so we went from 12 setting sprays to 8 setting sprays because I actually have this one too from Professionals and I was trying her out, so she was on my vanity. So we actually have eight setting sprays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. We actually have eight setting sprays and we got rid of four. So pretty good. She's looking a bit empty and spacious now, but it's okay. <laughs> now let's move on to foundation. Okay, let's see, for foundation, I think, 
So this one I wanted to try because a lot of people raved about it, but I got this shade in Hazelnut Beige and it's too light, like way too light, so I can't really use it. I do use it as a mixer to put into my other foundations when they are too dark. Um, so this might be a declutter because she's kind of old now. I really like my ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundations. So I'm going to keep that. Born This Way, no question. Same thing with Lancome. This one my friend Melissa actually gave me so I could use it. Um, she got this shade by mistake. It's like really, really, really light. Um, this is N1. <laughs> <laughs> it's like super light, um, but there's just no use that I can use this for because it's really light, obviously, and I thought maybe I could use it like when I do costume makeup, but it's a pink undertone. It's not like true white, like for example, not this one from LA Girl, which is also a mixing color, but I don't use it for that purpose. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, I'm for sure going to be decluttering this one. The LA Girl I use for like Halloween makeup, so we're gonna keep that. We have the NARS, which is a little NARS foundation. I put more use into my foundation. This is new. Um, did I use this? I did use this. It's not a bad shade for me, but I don't think it was my favorite. No, you know which one I was really impressed with? This one. So this one I recently used in a Shop My Stash and I actually really like the way it looked with the hydrating primer. I'm going to keep that too. This one I'm giving to my friend. I'm going to keep that one. Ooh, look at that. Do you see that on the foundation? Oh, well, is that normal? I don't think it's that old for it to be doing that. Does it smell funny? No, I don't know. I've never seen foundation do that. Does foundation normally do that? Because I actually really like this foundation. Mm, maybe it's because it has PF, S, S, P, F, S, yeah, P, F, <laughs> 18 in it. I'm not sure. Um, This one's a maybe too, just because I think it's expired. The Florence, we're going to keep that. We're going to keep my... It Cosmetics Baba Foundation. That one's really good. Um, definitely want to keep the Elf's one. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the original. Um, I feel like it's a little tad bit too light for me. And then also, too, it's really matte. So I don't really like it at all. Um, this one, on the other hand, is a tad bit too dark for me. So I was using the two to mix. But maybe I can use little white mixer <laughs> to lighten this up just a tad bit when I use it and it will be super matte. You keep the El Melquiage one and I think that's it. So let's see. These are the two maybes that I had. This is full. I don't <laughs> even though look I, I want to try it out so I'm going to try this one out and see if it still works. Maybe I'll pull it out for my next shop, my stash. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Don't judge me. And we're gonna get rid of this one, the Catrice one, because it's just too light. It, it won't work for me. Like, this is way too light of a foundation. Like, like there's no, no, there's no way. No. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of these. These are all the foundations that I'm getting rid of. These three right here. So here in my drawer I have 16 foundations, not including the ones that I am decluttering and also not including the one that's currently in my drawer and in my new makeup drawer. So, let's see, 16, 17, I still have 18 foundations total and then we got rid of three. So I think we're doing good so far because I didn't think I would be able to let go of some of my makeup. Okay, now we're in my blush and bronzer drawer. Oops, Sorry, it's so squeaky. I don't know why. Um, now we're in my blush and bronzer drawer, and I honestly don't feel like I'm going to get rid of too much here, except for maybe these two. These are my 
ColourPop Super Shock Cheek blushes, which they are pretty old. I want to say like these are some of like my first blushes that I had in my collection. Um, and they're more like cream products. I'm not even sure. Hello. Yeah, see, like, I don't know what I was thinking when I got this one. This one's in Trickery. And I don't wear shades like this at all. <laughs> so, I think for sure I have no hard feelings in decluttering this one. Um, this one is in between the sheets. And this one I actually really wanted. Because I've seen Kathleen Lights talk about it. And, oh yeah, no, she's dried out. Let's see. Yeah, she dried out. Do you see that? That's how hard I had to press to get some type of pigment. So, yeah, she's probably expired for sure. So, you get rid of that one too. Um, let's see. This one's pretty, pretty old too. This is from Too Faced. I got this a long time ago um, as a sample. Again, see, like, I just don't reach for pink blushes like this. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this too because I just don't see myself using it. Girl Power The Balm. Ooh, this one's cute. It's peach. Yeah, I like more peachy pinks than the bright pink like that. So I'll keep that. The NARS Orgasm I still haven't used, so I do want to keep that. I just got this. Um, then we had the Ciate London. This is in Matchmaker, and I think I actually really like this one. It's really a luminous. Oh, yeah. See, that's pretty. I like that. And then this is from Milk Makeup. Um, she's a lip and cheek. No, I don't think I've even used this one. This thing's brand new. Um, ooh, but it's a pretty shade. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to have to pull this out the next time I do a shop by stash. Do a cream. Maybe I should do an all cream. But I don't have a cream bronzer, I think. So, we'll keep that. Then we have these stacks, which were actually gifted to me for in Christmas of 19, I think. Or maybe, yeah, 2019. So, this is the first stack, and she's really pretty. I actually do enjoy using these, as you can tell. I dug my nail into that one. These aren't my favorite blushes to use. Again, like, I'm not super into the whole pinky blush. Well, actually, these are really pretty. <laughs> but, I'm going to keep it. Put some more use into her before I decide to toss her out. This stack here is actually my favorite. I love this one, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, dug into this one a lot. That's why it's my favorite. And then this is the last stack that I came in. Like with this one, I, I mixed the two together because with this shade, I just, I can't. See, it's so close to a trickery. It's just a really bright pink. I can't. And these are all new, newish blushes like I want to keep all these for sure and these these are new too yeah so there's nothing in my uh, the rest of these that I want to get rid of I'm not too sure and I don't feel like counting them I'm sorry but I'm not too sure how many blushes I have I'll leave the count on actually it's not gonna be off because I did buy new blushes but um out of all my blushes we're getting rid of three <laughs> Then for bronzer, which is this little section over here, um, I actually like the majority of my bronzers. I love this good. I love the MAC one. This one I don't use it often, but I want to put more use into her. Let's see. This one. This e.l.f. baked bronzer. I don't know why I got it. I guess because I was wanting to try new makeup, but... She looks pretty, but I don't know. I just never reach for it. And I think maybe it's the packaging or the way it looks. I don't know. But I never reach for it. So I'm going to declutter it too. And then it's pretty old, so I'm pretty sure it's expired. Which, using expired makeup, has not stopped me before. Again, don't judge me. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm just going to get rid of this Wet n Wild one. For one, the cap is broken. 
and yes, it's broken. And I think, oh, that's a lot of product, huh? That's so much product I had. It still works. Doesn't have a scent, but I don't use it. I'm not a big fan of like stick products like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and decolor that too. This I love. Mm. Just got that. So okay. So for bronzers, this is what we're decluttering. Um, I will no longer have that in my collection. Okay. Now highlights. Highlights. <laughs> I don't think I'll take anything out from highlights, to be honest, you guys. Um, let me see. Is there anything here that I don't want? No, I love all my highlights. So, my highlight drawer. And honestly, you guys, I'm not declaring anything in my highlight drawer. I love my highlights. Um, probably one of like the oldest ones is this one from Laura Geller and this one as well. And then my original glow kit, which ta-da, <laughs> doesn't have any pan in. Um, bubbly is probably the one that's most used and then sunburst is the second one. I'm pretty sure, obviously, um, I think I got this in like 2015 and it's a 12 month. <laughs> I'm such a hoarder, but I I love it. And then we have my Nicole Guerrero. I just, I can't. I, the only thing I could maybe get rid of is this one from the cream shop, but the only reason I won't is because I haven't put good use into it. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and keep her in my collection. For primers. And primers, I think I'm going to get rid of this from Smashbox. Um, I don't really feel like it does anything and I'm happy that I purchased the sample size and then plus I've heard people say that this actually expires fairly quickly. So do not plan on repurchasing this. I am pretty sure I've had this for about just about two years. There's very little left. Should I just keep it and finish it off? But then I feel like it doesn't do anything. I feel like it's more like a moisturizer than anything else. Okay. Um, shoot. Should I keep it? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it and try to finish her. Um, this one. This one I feel like there's more air than anything. Let's see. No, oh, stuff's still coming out, so we'll keep that too. This one. This one's basically empty. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of this. This one's Rebecca. My friend Melissa actually gave it to me. She didn't like it, but we'll get rid of that. It's basically empty. Um, I think that's it. I'm horrible at decluttering. Horrible. Yeah, that's all I'm going to get rid of. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to get rid of any of these, but the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, I did do a little bit of swatches in my shop, my stash, so I am going to get rid of some of these. Um, I think this was one of them. This one's in K-pop. Let's see. Some of them just didn't work anymore. Yeah, like... Oh, I'm going to have to do it on the lighter side of my hand. Let me clear, clean off my arm. Okay, so this one's in K-pop. It still works. It's still pretty. What do you guys think? And I would use it. I think. <laughs> okay, so we have that one in cake pop or K pop. And this one's in number three super shock shadow, which is like a brown. That one's still good too. I like it. I can see why I bought it. <laughs> Then we have this one in Liberty. Oh, this one's a metallic. Watch. Oh, yeah, she still works. Look at that. Bam. 
That one is crazy, but I don't lean to using this this much because I mean, really, who's gonna walk around wearing that? But she's beautiful. For Instagram, YouTube purposes, she's gorgeous. This one here is in Get Lucky. Oh, this is another Super Shock um, metallic, I believe. It's just in gold. She still works too. Look how pretty. So there's a reason why I used to be obsessed with these Super Shock shadows. It's because the pigment on these are amazing. Then we got Glitterita, which I used to use as a eyeshadow topper. See, that isn't pretty. So it's named Glitterita because it's literally like glitter. Then there's this one. This one's a super, super shock shadow and seeker. And I remember I was obsessed with these color tones before. It's supposed to be like a brownie. No, oh, this one don't work no more. You just, yeah. Do you see that? No good, that one's definitely a declutter. Yeah, the matte ones and the satin ones weren't ColourPop's best before. And, ooh, this one was really good too. This was popular. This one's in the shade Coconut. I don't know why they named it Coconut, but I remember this one. Oh yeah, she still works too. Look at that. Don't tell me she don't look beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the shade in the Alamar Cosmetics. Okay, let's see. So this is a black one, Super Shock Shadow, and Frisky. That one's still good too. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and then a purple one this one's in the shade dance party still good look at that got a dance party on my arm <laughs> this one's still good too then we have this pink one and I think this was a pigment uh, super Shock, yeah, Super Shock Press Pigment in Slave to Pink. Oh. Ooh, yeah, I don't think this is good anymore. Nope. You see that? That's what you can tell. It's dry. It's dried out, completely dried out. No good. Alright, so this one's getting decluttered too. Sorry. So two down. Then there's this one. This one's in D G A F, and it's a super shock shadow. This one I think was one of my favorites too. I don't know where my camera stopped filming, but this one's the one I just swatched. My camera could focus. There we go. Look at that. She's gorgeous. Love it. And that's this shade right here. It's a super shock shadow in the shade DGAF. Okay, ran out of room, so I'm going to go ahead and clean off my arm. Oh, this one's in the shade Crinkle. It's been discontinued for some, quite some time, but I love this shade. It was one of my favorite Super Shock shadows. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Until I swatch it, it still works too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's gorgeous. I can't get rid of this. I can't. I'm going to be sad. I need to finish her. That's what I need to do. I need to finish it 
focus on it because if that thing expires before I get to finish it, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, and this one's in the shade Animal, and this is also a Super Shock pressed pigment. The other one didn't work anymore, so let's see if this one does. Doesn't feel like the other one. Mm, she looks like she still works. A little chunky, but definitely a lot better than the red one. Or the pink one, I mean. She's cute. I'm gonna keep her. Then there's this one. This one I think I also used as an eyeshadow topper. This is in the shade Fringe. And it's a super shock shadow. Oh my god, you're broken too. <laughs> if you guys watched my shop mustache, that happened to one of my other ones. Oh, she's still good. You can feel it. She's soft. Maybe not. Oh yeah, she's still good. Sorry, I'm like horrible at aiming. <laughs> okay, and the last one here is in Jinxie. Oh, maybe this one was the one that didn't work anymore. It's like a gold, light gold color. See, it's pretty, but I think when I tried swatching it, didn't get much of a swatch. Oh no, still good. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of these back. Yes, we are keeping all of these. Okay, so for the Super Shock Shadows, I am only getting rid of these two, and only because they are no bueno anymore. <laughs> so, didn't do too well on that. And here, I feel like I'm going to be a little bit more cutthroat when it comes to these. So, this one I got in a boxy charm. Let's see if she's still good. Oh yeah, she's still good. She's pretty. I just don't lean for this type of color very much, but I hate throwing stuff away. Um, this one, I don't get. Look at this. We have to shake it. My friend gave me this. I mean, it's pretty. I just don't picture myself using this. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, this one too, I think I'm gonna get rid of. This is an e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow, and I just don't use it. Um, it's just the nude eyeshadow. Same. Get rid of that. We have this one. This one's from Profusion. I got it a while back, too. I think I've only used it a handful of times to see if it still works. Yeah, it still works. Did you see that? Super black. <laughs> okay. This one my friend Melissa just gave me. Um, it says it's a I something I don't know but it's basically like a liquid eyeshadow as well oh that's pretty do you see that that's really pretty I haven't tried her out yet so I'm gonna have to pull her out too um then we have my Stila ones this one looks like it's basically done for already later Well, she's still good. Then there's this one in Perlina. Stila. Most used, obviously. Hmm. 
Yeah, she's dried. This one's dried out. Okay. Then we got in Golden Girls, also Stila glitter. The camera could focus. She's dried out too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna clutter that one. Then we have the elf ones. These aren't that old. I feel like I just bought these last year. Probably did buy these last year, I'm not sure. Or the year before. They should be good. Oh yeah. She's good. That's in the shade Flirty Bird. Just this one right here. I should do smaller swatches. And then we have this one. It's really pretty also from e.l.f. In the shade Dirty Martini. Oh yeah, still good. Keeping her. Then we have Copper. Copper Pop? Yeah, Copper Pop from e.l.f. Still good too, keeping it. <laughs> okay, and then we have Ocean Eyes, which is the blue one from Elf. Oh yeah, still good too. Look at that, beautiful, keeping it. I need to use these, I don't think I've used them. Um, then we have like these from they're also from BoxyCharm. I think I got this one or that one. I'm not sure. I got one of these in BoxyCharm and then my friend gave me the other ones because she doesn't use one. My good eye shadows. And I'm like, she thinks I will. It's really light. I don't like it. I'm going to throw that one too. Or get rid of it. Give it to someone else. This one. Oh, this one was really pretty. I'll keep that. I remember this one. This one's the one I got. Super pretty. And then there's this one too. That's pretty too. I'll keep it too. <laughs> and then I already know what I'm doing with these. I am decluttering these just because I don't reach for them. I don't use this glitter. I much rather used I much would much rather use pressed glitters than a loose glitter. I don't use eyeshadow pencils and I don't use anything that's less than four eyeshadows. So I'm gonna get rid of all these. So from this drawer, these are all the items I am decluttering. I think we're making progress. Hey, hey beauties, I'm sitting here editing my video of my makeup declutter and we're already at about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna split it into two videos. So this is gonna be the first part and then next Wednesday you can definitely expect the second part of my declutter and you can see I think I did really well. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and do an informal outro to this video so that's it. Stay tuned till next week for the second part of this declutter. And yeah, I hope you guys truly did enjoy this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I am posting two times a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. Every Wednesday is an additional beauty video, just like this one. And every Saturday is either going to be a Shop My Stash or a Family Time vlog. If that is something that you are interested in, then go ahead and subscribe and join my beauty community here on YouTube. But that is basically it. Until next time. Bye.